Hello everyone. Today we are going to fix any kind of errors while updating. Like if you're getting any 0x800 error, we are going to fix that. Make sure you follow all the steps and all the steps are very easy to perform. So let's get started. So here in the search bar, just type WS reset. So after typing WS reset, I'll just maximize it so that you can see that. You just need to run as an administrator. And this will scan and remove the cache of store, which will help us to update the windows. And if we are getting any errors, that will be fixed. So the whole procedure will take two to three minutes. So while it's doing, we will move to the next step, which is restart the update service and how we can do that. We just have to press window and R key together and then we need to type services.msc. I'll just close this window. So services.msc, I'll just maximize it and hit OK. So once you type that, you will find a new window. I'll maximize it and I'll press, I'll select any of the services and I press W and here we are looking for Windows Update. I got it. Now you just have to do a right click, click on Start. If it's grayed out, that's fine. And if it's not, just click on Start and once it is started, just click on Restart and then do a right click and go to the properties and here select automatic delayed start and then click on apply and OK. Once this is done, restart the computer and then try to update. Most probably this will fix the problem and if it doesn't, we will move to the next step and that is pretty easy. Just look at the time bar, do a right click and click on adjust date and time. I'll just do it again, date and time now here make sure set time is automatically turned on and the date the time should be correct once this is done we will move to the next step now we need to repair the windows so even if your computer is good doesn't have issues this repair process will not make any um, bad changes so it's absolutely harmless so let's get started how we can do that so here in search bar, just type CMD and then run as an administrator. And it will ask you to say yes, so I'll do it. And I'll type SFC space forward slash scan now. I'll maximize, I'll just zoom it so that you can see here. SFC space forward slash scan now. So this will repair the computer. We will move to the next step and that is a very important step. We need to turn this computer in safe mode with networking and for that we just have to press window and R together and type msconfig. I'll zoom it here. msconfig then hit OK. A new window will appear and here we need to go to boot. Now make sure we are just doing it for one time. So we have to undo that as well. So I'll click on Safe Boot and make sure you select the network. This is a very important step. So once you select the network, click on Apply and Reboot. So the moment you reboot, the whole computer will be looking different. So don't worry about that because that is a Microsoft diagnostic mode to repair the update service. So once you are in the safe mode, just try to update the windows and see if it's working. If it's updating, that's really great. And then you need to restart the computer and come here, uncheck this, click on apply and then OK. And it will restart the computer in normal mode. Let me know in the comment section if it has worked for you. And please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.